Hey everybody, in this tutorial I want to give you an overview of the tune modifiers and help you to understand how they work. There are four different features here. Let's go check it out. So tune modifiers, the first feature is the nose angling. Then we have the booster. We have the torque tilt back. And we have the turn and roll tilt back. To show you each feature, I won't combine them at first, so I will only turn on one at a time. And I, I'm starting with my published shape called Vision, and all features are disabled in the tune modifiers at the moment. So let's get started with the nose angling. This is basically just a constant tilt that you can set if you want a higher nose like in elevated mode you can set it here up to whatever degrees you want or you can also set negative numbers so you have a nose down so let's start it here it's for example five degrees up and then it would just be from the beginning because you have set the uh, ERPM to 200 and this is just like the very first movement it will go up and if you change direction it will be tail up. So if you want it to appear at a later stage you can set it to 2000 ERPM and then you had maybe the first three or four four miles per hour uh, just a level board and when you go faster uh, the constant tilt back will be enabled here and if you come and slow down it will be level again yeah that's it about the constant tilt back but there is also a variable tilt back here just go down you see the variable tilt back is like speed based so each thousand ERPM you can set a number of degrees to have uh, your nose coming up or down so we just try it here with one degree per thousand ERPM and this just means the faster you go the higher will your nose raise but there is <laughs> thankfully a maximum for the variable tilt back so we don't want it to have it up to 15 degrees so you can just set here like a maximum tilt for example for three and then it will just as fast as you go it will come up but it will stop at three degrees maximum tilt back. Yeah, the nose angling speed is very important. You will need it for the constant tilt back. Without this, uh, the nose uh, won't go to that set tilt back. So you need a speed and it's also the pressure of the tilt back so how strong you have it so now let's try the mix here it's possible to add the variable tilt back to the constant tilt back so we have an interesting setting here for example 5 up for constant tilt back set to 200 ERPM and then I want to have the nose coming down again, speed based. So we have a negative number here, minus one, and a maximum tilt back also of minus five. So this will equalize the constant tilt back of plus five degrees. And the faster you go, it will come down and equalize that tilt pack. So at higher speeds, you will have a leveled board. 
and when you slow down the nose will come up again yeah okay let's go ahead to the booster this is pretty easy to explain because it's just uh, adding more power to your existing shape so you can set it to have more stability in the center or you could also give more stability just later so we have it here now starting at the zero angle so it's from here ramping up to the first eight degrees and giving the set boost now we have only zero here so it's no boost at all but you can just start adding amps to this and just check on off-road if you already have enough stability so your nose won't dip or go down on bumpy terrain if it's still going down just put in another number go up like 40 this is from my shape but when I changed the motor one time I realized it's not the same behavior on every motor so I had to go up here to 60 to get the same stability as I had before with 40 amps so just find out what is the best for you and you could also uh, just to give a little math here we go up to 80 that's very powerful already but it's just the same as the ramp up with 8 degrees so now you could go down and divide this just to get it in the very center with 2 degrees ramp up and then you also could go down and divide the amp boost uh, to 20 so this is the same amount of power you're giving but only for the first two degrees so you have basically the same stability but only for the first two degrees and then it will be a little more buttery for the rest of the angles you could also change this to start at six degrees then you had it buttery in the center but as soon as you go to six down six degrees you will get the current boost and have a more stable uh, board here maybe for a later acceleration boost so let's check the torque tilt back this feature is a bit more complicated but it basically gives you more boost when you need more amps so you can set the start current threshold here I've set it to 15 amps and as soon as you need more than 15 amps the torque tilt back will be active but you need to give it a strength and the strength at zero is nothing and the maximum here is one so in my shape I've set it to 20 to 0 0.25 starting at 15 amps so as soon as you now get the 15 amps and you will just need them to climb up a small hill the nose will start to give you more pressure or even raise a uh, lift up and you will get like for example almost a parallel board so I use this feature to do that adaptive nose tilt but it's not really laser pointing to the floor but it's just amp related so when you need more amps it will lift the nose the same if you go downhill and you need more amps for braking it will lift the tail so you have more clearance for braking downhills this is especially good for steeper downhills where you really need more amps to brake it will just give you the additional clearance here to to do this so let's check 
the other tabs here in the tilt pack I've set the angle limit of 8 degrees so you won't get 8 degrees immediately but it's coming up slowly and as because you have 20, 0.25 angle per amp this means the more amps you need the more angle you get yeah that's very important so it's not just like now it's we need 15 amps so give it 8 degrees no it's coming up slowly to this point where whenever you really reach uh, yeah do the math here I don't know maybe 4 amps is 1 degree now so you need a lot of amps to get those 8 degrees up we also have the tilt back speed and the release speed and I have both set to a slow number only 3 degrees per second because I don't want to have it just jumping up or dropping down as soon as I need the torque tilt back so this can feel very uh, strange if you uh, have this set to for example 30 degrees per second so it will come up very quickly and dropping also very quickly so I have it to a low number and it is very subtle the move you just it's just like giving a bit more strength and it's not really going up and down the current filter is not so important it's just soft now uh, the whole feature okay let's check the last feature in the tune modifiers it's the turn or roll tilt back with this feature you can give more stability or more power more nose up uh, in carving situations so whenever you turn and the roll angle is this how you tip the board to the side when you tip it to the side and you will do that for turns and carving you can set the power of additional uh, nose tilt here so when you turn and the more you turn the more power you can get so we'll, you will never scratch again the nose in tight turns also uh, the strengths we just check it out you can up, go up to 90 so this means you will get the power just uh, for 90 degrees on the side it would be 90 degrees up so that's the power so you can also go down to 45 strengths and obviously there's a tilt back limit so you won't have a nose up to 45 degrees but I have set it to 5 degrees here so you have the strength to go up far 45 but it will stop at 5 degrees also we have the roll angle threshold so for example we go down to 5 so that means if you only tip it a little to the side you won't feel this uh, nose tilt here but as soon as you go more than 5 degrees to the side you will get the additional pressure against your foot it's cool if you want to accelerate out of a turn and go and you already feel the pressure against your foot and you know now I can speed out of the turn so this is really cool to allow you some speed carving in a racing circuit for example also you can set it to a ERPM threshold I have it here to 3000 that means for slow turns this feature is not enabled 
but as soon as you hit the 3000 ERPM, maybe around 8 miles per hour, you will activate this feature. So like this it's really for the speed carving, but if you want to have it for the slow turns uh, and from starting, um, let's say, oops, let's say 500 ERPM, you will have it for slow turns enabled and if you have a tight slow turn you will already feel the nose coming up. Also there is the tilt back speed, same like in the other features, but you have the speed boost and I usually set it to 200 and this gives you the double boost uh, for this tilt effect. So it's not like uh, it's uh, just speed double, but it's just giving the boost the, for the tilt back and like this you can accelerate more. There is also a speed boost maximum ERPM. This is pretty similar to the booster effect where you have a ramp up. So if you reach the 4000 ERPM, uh, you have those 200% boost complete and for the rest for higher ERPMs it will stay at 200% yeah there is unfortunately a bug in this turn uh, tilt back feature so the tilt back angle limit doesn't apply for fakey riding so that means if the tail is in front you will get unlimited um, tilt and ending up in nose scratching yeah that's a bug and should be fixed very quick uh, also bear in mind that this is not the best at the moment for going downhill because if you go downhills and you start doing turns you will have the nose coming up and you lose clearance so i know surf dado already fixed this in his firmware where the turn and roll tilt back will be overwritten uh, or disabled for downhill riding so that should be also in the upcoming firmware release that's it about all the tune modifiers from the balance app I hope you liked it and I'll be back with some other tutorials very soon.